Growing tomatoes in the desert. Surrounded by sand dunes, Lumpul Village is an oasis powered by the sun. A 2,000 watt solar panel powers pumps that draw water from 100 meters underground. This once arid land is now fertile. It's a miracle. We haven't seen any rainfall since October, and yet we have all the water we need. We're growing onions, tomatoes, all sorts of vegetables. 74% of Senegalese have no access to electricity. The state distributed the panels to 13 villages as part of a pilot project funded by international donors. Each one cost only $4,000 to install. It is less costly now to organize some irrigation using solar energy than pumping of the water with some diesel engine. As part of the Green Climate Fund, developed countries promised to raise $100 billion by 2020 to fund projects like this. Among international agencies, there's a growing eagerness to bring in new forms of technologies such as wind turbines and solar panels to Senegal and throughout West Africa. But the government here is cautious and they're less enthusiastic about these new alternative form of energy. The government has just signed a half billion dollar contract to build coal-fired power plants. At the moment, the state subsidizes energy. It's too costly. That's why we've invested in this power plant. It's a quick and easy way to get electricity and reduce costs. But anti-corruption campaigners are not convinced. They accuse government officials of taking kickbacks and say energy from coal costs more than solar. We want the government to make the contracts public. They need to clearly justify why they are investing in coal mines rather than in solar energy. Solar power could pose a serious threat to the government's ability to make money from power. It challenges the state control of the distribution and cost of energy. The sun is reliable, free, clean and available all year round. Investing in this green energy is giving power to the people who need it the most. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Lumpul Village, Senegal.